Hi everyone, it's Dana again and I just wanted to show you real quick the um, fairy garden that I made for Kathy and how it turned out in that dish from the Dollar Tree. So there it is, full of its dirt and there's some mechanics in there like an old plastic pot is underneath there to take up some of the space and I've got in terms of the real plants, I've got this one, this flower's not, this leaf isn't very nice but we can fix that and then I don't know what you call this one. It's something with a P, this plant right here. So those are the two live ones in there. And then I've just backed it off to give it a bit of height here at the back with um, this bush that I got from the Dollarama. And I just cut three sprigs off of it. This is the cattail from the Dollar Tree and then the lavender from the Dollar Tree. I put a succulent in there and a succulent over here. Here's a little birdhouse that I hauled from the Dollar General. Kathy liked this particular house, so I did that. And then I just made a little pathway with the river rock and then the white rock down there. And then those little um, flowers that you get at the DT, I just stuck them on. I save all of the wire from the, um, the faux flowers we get at the, the Dollar Tree. I save all of that stuff, so I just hot glued them onto there. There's a little wee welcome sign in the back and then some mushrooms. And then there's the fairy. I asked her to pick which, what she wanted in there. So we put the little fairy girl that reads because Kathy likes to read. And then a little button, bunny button. And then one of those faux moss rocks. And then I very terribly wrote this little sign. So yeah, so there's the little fairy garden that's going home with Kathy. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Bye.